What's up, everybody? In case you don't know who our next guest is, you would definitely know who he is after this episode. Saki Haviv is a partner at Shermayev Geismer and Haviv and has done some of the most iconic logos on planet Earth. Logos like PBS, Chase, Mobile, Showtime, and Nat Geo, just to name a few. On this episode, Saki Haviv has given us the most definitive answer as to what makes for a good and consequently a bad logo. And the answer surprised all of us. Saki? People think a logo should say a whole lot about us. A logo should be pretty. Or a logo should, you know, we should love our logo. Or Actually, all these are not, not true at all. Mm -hmm. a, a good logo, really, there's three things that it needs to be. It needs to be appropriate, distinctive, and memorable. And then it needs to be simple. Super, super simple. By appropriate, that doesn't mean expressive. It shouldn't try to say a whole lot. It should just be appropriate in the feeling. So it's like a personality thing. It's the core idea and the feeling of it. So if it's in sport, maybe it's bold and dynamic. If it's in fashion, maybe it's elegant. It's a feeling. The second one is that it will be distinctive and memorable. So unusual enough to persist in our mind. We see it once or twice, you can describe it to somebody or doodle it on a piece of paper, that's a good test. The third one, maybe the most important one, it needs to be simple, super, super simple. So it can be reproduced everywhere in tiny sizes and pixel formats and so on. Because the answer to what is a bad logo is Something that looks generic is a bad logo on the one hand. And on the other hand, something that's too complicated is the bad logo mm -hmm. because it's going to fall apart in small sizes in pixel formats and so on. That's the, the, the magic is finding that balance between something simple and something distinctive. And when we strike that balance, you know, we found the, the right solution, you know, the one the one that we will push for. Let us know what your top three criteria are for what makes for a great logo. And while you're at it, let us know what your favorite logos of all time are. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that bell.